Hi, it's Neil McGovern here. Today I'm going to talk about playing in a sax section in a big band. Now this is not something I'm necessarily a, an expert on. I was classically trained, but it is something I've done a little bit of and I've got a few thoughts on it for you. Hopefully they're useful. <clears throat> uh, firstly, it's really great fun playing lead alto in a big band, but you might not be playing lead alto. So if you're playing second alto, you need to watch out for those unison passages, those passages where you're playing the same thing as the lead alto, same thing as probably all the saxophones in the section. Make sure you don't swamp the sound, because the leader, the lead alto is the one who's going to be trying to give you the right kind of tone and the right inflection, or at least their idea of what they think is right for, for the tune, for the chart. So make sure that you're not swamping them. I have a particularly um, powerful mouthpiece on. I've played on these very loud metal mouthpieces for years. Um, I've got recently changed to this uh, um, Jody Jazz Superjet, which is a fantastic mouthpiece, but it's uh, uh, very, very loud. So if I were playing second alto to somebody with this, I'd really want to kind of bring it down. And I noticed it myself this week because I was doing some recording of myself, multi-tracking some things for big band, and I realised that actually I needed to just bring it down in those uh, um, second alto sections because uh, it also just kind of works a little bit better. Now it, it's not so important when there's um, harmony um, because the harmony naturally you're going to he be hearing that top voice and the way a lot of big band um, voicings are done is the lead alto has the top part possibly underneath the lead trumpet possibly um, mirroring it mirroring one of the other trumpets but anyway as far as the saxophones are concerned um, if you're in harmony, you know, you can probably play out a little bit more, um, but do be very, very careful when you're on those unison passages. So if I, if I, if I was playing as a, say, a little lead line, and then I, I was going to do the same thing on second alto, I might want to play it more. So just kind of understated, still trying to do all the same inflections, the same kind of microdynamics, um, everything basically the same, just a little bit less. And I suppose that will go for um, second tenor too. So first tenor is going to be a little bit more and then a little bit less for second tenor. Although, of course, everything is sort of subservient to that lead alto who's, who's leading the whole section. Um, baritone's often doubling it and has a different kind of sonority. But again, if you've got a monster baritone player, or you are a monster baritone player, perhaps you want to just tone it down a little bit because not all lead players are as, as strong as others, basically. Some are a little bit more mellow, some like to just um, play a little bit under. So you have to be, be sensitive to that and adjust um, and listen for tuning and things like that as well. Anyway, that's just my very brief thoughts on big band uh, sax playing.